What's up everybody, it's Alan here. Welcome to another video. And today we're over at 22 Deep Sea in Newport Coast in a prestigious community over in Crystal Cove. And we have the luxury to be able to show you guys this home today. So quick specs for the house, it's a six bed, eight bath, 12,234 square feet for the living space. And this home sits on a three quarter of acre lot. This home is currently listed for $16,800,000. And before I give you guys a tour of the home, I wanna give a quick shout out to listing agents for allowing us to be able to show you guys this house. All right, so let's get started. walking in um, this home is gated so that way you have a little bit more security so the way you should feel in a home um, and I didn't want to let you guys know I'm pretty excited to show you guys this house just because it is the base one that we've shown you guys on this channel and it's pretty exciting so right in the front yard you already do have this gorgeous uh, fountain out here and I'm sorry if you have a little bit of trouble hearing me at the moment but we have that right in the center uh, you also do have four olive trees here which to me I think those olive trees just give it a little bit more that that more authentic kind of feel, that more luxury lifestyle type of feel. Uh, but there is a lot of greener, greenery out here in the front yard and a little bit of the exterior about the, about the home. Uh, it is a smooth stucco finish and I, to me it feels more like a northern Italian type of feel of the home which I really like the color combinations and now that we've seen the outside of the house, we're gonna go ahead and check out the inside. All right, and right as we're walking in, you're greeted with these 25 to 30 foot ceilings and you have a beautiful chandelier just centered right in the middle, hanging down from the ceiling. And over to my left, uh, we are greeted with the office, which to me has the very masculine feel, kind of gives you a, a Godfather vibes. And I really love the touch of uh, marble that they put outlining the fireplace. So this is where you come, you do business and you get things done. And right across, there's a parlor area, which it's set up for, it looks like you would have some tea here, relax, listen to some nice relaxing music. Uh, also has a chandelier hanging right in the center and you do have a lot of natural light coming in with the French doors. So this is where you come, relax, maybe have some, some guests just, you know, chill out there for a little bit. And now they're walking over here into the hallway. This is the chandelier that I was saying that was hanging down from the center. Uh, to our left, we do have a spiral staircase which has the marble flooring. I love this look, uh, very elegant style. So, and over to our right, which you probably hear the noise from, is the little courtyard that they have with the fountains. Uh, French doors also opening up to there, which also gives a bunch of natural light coming in. And now that we're walking through, this home does have a lot of detail, so kind of bear with me. Um, to our right, we do have the dining table, the dining area. Um, the ceiling, looks almost like a dome. Uh, it has the LED lighting around, gives it that elegant feel. It has a table for 10, which you can sit here with the family, some friends, some uncles, some cousins. Plenty of room here to be able to eat, relax, and just have a good time with the family. Make a lot of memories here. And of course, you have the French doors again, out to the courtyard. A lot of natural light coming in here during the day. Uh, I I me personally, I love this dining room. Across from here, we do have Actually, there's an elevator here that takes us up to all three levels. There's the basement level, this first level, and then the second level. So this elevator is functioning. And we're probably going to use it a little bit later. Um, but over to our right, we do have the powder room. So anyone that comes in here, you know, this is for all the guests. Whenever they come, want to come and wash their hands or use the restroom, anything like that. But they do have the marble countertops, the vanity set, and I. I love, it almost looks like a hotel for me, and I, I love it, personally. Uh, walking through here, there is the first guest room. Uh, right throughout the room, uh, every, every room here does have a walk-in closet. So this is actually a fairly good size for a guest room. The built-in speakers, recessed lighting, 
and all the crown molding I think every room in here does have different crown molding they're very detailed actually and we have there's the other restroom in here with again the marble uh, countertops the vanity set and the walk-in shower which is stunning so now that we've seen the guest room we're gonna head back out into the hall we're gonna take a sharp left and we're gonna go see over here is the kitchen, bar area, and also the living room area. So, I mean, as we're walking down the hallway, look at all this detail. I'm telling you, the detail here is amazing. I love it. Again, different crown molding. Everything is just very detailed to the spec. So, come this way. I'm gonna show you the little bar area that they have here. So they have a, a sub-zero like wine cellar here, the marble countertops, um, a lot of storage space here. And they also have an Ariston coffee maker. So when you're buying around $16 million, you start seeing these around there, which you can come make your own cup of coffee, your espresso, whatever you like. It's pretty cool. So walking over through over here, the kitchen area. So you have the walking kitchen, you have the dual island, and you're gonna be seeing a lot of marble here. For me, I love this marble look to it. The wooden panels on the ceiling, the recessed lighting. Um, walk with me over here. In here is the is the fridge. You might have thought of the storage space, but it's the fridge. It's paneled, and this this is a huge fridge. Sub zero fridge in here. Um, I I actually like these these handles they have here. The colors. This is all custom cabinet cabinetry. Uh, again, the marble countertops with the backsplash matching the countertops. You also have Wolf appliances. So you have the six burner stove here, the Wolf stove, and you also have a pot filler. So you're not in the sink, you know, struggling to fill up your pots. You just come in here, pour it over, and you're set. And I really like this uh, vent that they have here. I like the cover that they put over it. That way it gives it, you know, you just don't see a big stainless steel vent there. Kind of give it a different look. And right over here, uh, you do have a walk-in pantry. And also an extra space, you know, maybe for if you have a cook, they can come in here, come in with the recipes and, you know, come with more ideas on what to feed you. So we're going to walk through here. This is the pantry area, like I said, the walk-in pantry, which plenty of storage space here to be able to put whatever you want. You got cereal, pasta, rice, and extra, a bunch of extra space in there to put whatever you want in there. Now that we're walking back out, there is also a second dining area here which is a little bit less informal. The other one is more meant for if you want a nice, elegant dinner, that's what it's for over here. You guys come relax. You also have the uh, nice big windows here. It gives a lot of natural lighting. Of course, the chandelier. And I like these light fixtures they put up here as well. Kind of, it fits with everything really well. I love it. Hardwood flooring. And across through here, there is the living room area. So living room area, hardwood floors. You do have the wooden panels on top with the recess lighting. You have these uh, opening glass doors, which gives a ton of natural light coming in through here. Uh, French doors leading out into the courtyard. And also, take a look at this. This is pretty cool. You got the marble countertops, which is almost a bar area here. And they glow. Take a quick take a look, look. Look at this. This is elegant. This is more luxury. You don't see this very often and I, I when I first saw it, I, this, my attention just went straight to there. It's pretty cool. So now that we've seen the living room and also the kitchen area, we're going to head over into the backyard, which kind of blows my mind on how much space you have here. It's very, this backyard is meant for entertaining. You do have an area over here in the, in the backyard, which is a covered patio to where you guys can just relax out here, have some family over, and you know, just in case it rains, you guys can still hang out over here. Um, to my left, you do have a built-in barbecue area with the, obviously the bar stool st uh, tops over there. And uh, I, this pool, this pool, I love this pool. You have the raised bombing with the, it also has a river shelf and a spa built into it. This is, this is actually a saltwater pool here, which has the stepping, he had steps to be able to go, get up in there. The river shelf, almost like a, a Baja shelf. And this pool, guys, uh, seamless. I love, 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 love this infinity pool that they have here 
the water just looks seamless and falls over the edges. Uh, my favorite type of pools here. So now we're gonna go ahead, before we actually go to the second floor, we're gonna go and take a look at the courtyard, which has a nice area there to where you can just hang out, relax. It also have a, has a space to be able to mount your own TV. And like I said, this backyard is meant for, you know, entertainment. entertainment. It has a space, a lot of greenery, and actually a lot of privacy back here, which is, this is what you need when you got this type of home. So let's go take a look. All right, so now we're getting into the courtyard area. So, like I said, you have this space out here, the covered patio area. I love the detail, these pillars, the the oval entries, which gives it a little bit more the Italian feel, like I said before. Almost feels like you're in Rome. Uh, you have a fireplace, and they have the connection to be able to mount a flat screen on there. You have this nice light fixture in the middle, uh, the wooden paneling on top, and also a little uh, patio area over here as well. With these pillars here hanging these up and like I said this type of stone that they used gives it a, a different feel you don't get that super modern luxury type of feel it's a uh, it's very unique unique type of uh, stone that they used here and this is the courtyard you have the fountain over here actually two fountains out here which this I, I love this as well just because it also wraps up into the backyard so you can have plenty of guests out here entertainment is what this backyard is for so now that I showed you guys the courtyard, we're gonna head up to the second floor. And now that we're at the second floor, um, we took the spiral stairs up here, which the, has the marble flooring, uh, these wooden handles with the metal steel framing. Uh, I really like it has more detail uh, There's big three big windows which gives a lot of natural light coming in here as you're taking the stairs up here And if you notice remember I said that there was a lot of detail with the crown molding here Every like room here has different crown molding uh, recessed lighting built-in speakers and These aren't your normal uh, AC diffusers here as you can see They added some more details to that so it's not as noticeable so we're gonna head down this way. Again, you have this entry, oval entry going in. And this room here can be more for uh, either a guest or it can be for your kids. Uh, the great crown molding here, like I know I've said crown molding a lot, but I just, I just notice it right when I walk in just because every room is different. There's different detail. The hardwood flooring, uh, you have the walk-in uh, closet. You also have this little, area here French door is leading out to the front Let's see if I can get these open okay okay so you get this little area out here to where you get views of the front yard uh, pretty cool actually that you have this in one of your kids rooms uh, now let's break it there you go so over here is also the powder room for this uh, for this room which also has the marble countertops, the walk-in shower, and like I said, the, the crown molding. I keep saying, I'm gonna stop saying the crown molding for you guys. So now that we've seen the, one of the first rooms, we're gonna walk back out into this hallway here, almost like a terrace, because you can look down right into the hallway in the, from, the, from the front door. This is where you're at. You're in the, you got the two rooms, you have the master, which I'm gonna share in a little bit, but we're gonna head back over here, you have these beautiful windows out here giving a bunch of electric light coming in. And this room here can be used almost as like your, your other kid's room. Uh, I would say your daughter's room if you have a daughter. Just because the way that it's painted, it's set for, um, you know, for, for, for kids. These rooms almost, for, for me naturally, I would have my kids in that room and in this room. That's just me though. Uh, you have the walk-in closet. And also the French doors leading out again the little back uh, balcony areas that you can see out in the front yard and you have the powder room with the marble countertops the custom uh, cabinetry and also the big vanity mirror and also in this walk-in shower it's all it's marble from head to toe I, I love marble I love the way that it looks and that shower is for me <laughs> that shower is for me so now that we've seen the other room, we're gonna head down into the hall. 
and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the master bedroom. Okay, before we head over to the master bedroom, uh, I did want to mention there is another area here that can be used for extra storage. Uh, can be used, I guess, for drinks, just because they do have also a, a cooler in here, which you can have extra drinks, maybe some beer, some you know wine if you want, uh, just so that you don't have to go downstairs and get that yourself. You also have access to it up here. And also, there is another guest room in here uh, with a lot of lighting coming in from these uh, from these windows. Again, <laughs> and I've said it before, the crown molding, every room is different. You're gonna walk through here and there's an, also another walk-in bathroom, powder room with the marble countertops. You have a nice big window here and you also have a tub, shower. I like this wind, uh, this glass here that's kind of separating everything to where you know water won't splash over here. But it's a nice touch, a nice touch. So now that we've seen this guest bedroom, <laughs> we're gonna walk over to the master bath, uh, master bedroom. So having a master bedroom, this is a pretty extravagant entrance to it because right as you're walking in, you do have an open sunroof here, which I think looks gorgeous. I love the touch that they did with that. And you have these big double doors opening up and in your master bedroom, you have an area to relax, uh, double-sided fireplace, so you have one in here which would kind of be like a lounge area for the master bedroom. And walking through here, this is where you have the rest of the room, uh, the rest of the bedroom. So like I said, double-sided uh, uh, fireplace. You have the windows here, these shades, um, they do come up to where you leave a lot of lateral light coming in. and. So this one's halfway up. We're actually gonna head over here and you get this beautiful balcony out here to where you get views out into your backyard. And on a clear day, you actually can see Catalina Island. You have ocean views from here, ocean, uh, views of Newport, Huntington Beach. You get just amazing views out here, which is really relaxing. Um, Actually, there's two balconies in this master uh, bedroom. There's this one, then there's one right across the other way, which we'll see in a little bit. So, follow, follow me. Okay, so now we've seen the bedroom here. Again, the, the fireplace, I like the touches that they did with there. The finishes are really nice. Uh, and actually the lounge, I forgot to mention, there is LED lighting, which almost looks like a dome, which I, lo I love the LED lightings that, are, that you can see. So now they're walking in through here. This is the master bathroom. So you have a his and hers. So you have a vanity here for him. You have a vanity area for her. You have this calicata uh, marble here, which is more rare to find nowadays, which I can see why this is gorgeous marble. Uh, you don't see this too often. You also have a walk-in shower with a dual-sided shower heads with the marble finishing and I love the design that they put on there. Uh, you have two seats as well. Everything in this house just seems to be marble from head to toe. So, and also you have a walk-in closet for his, for him and her. So, two walk-in closets in here. Uh, plenty of storage space. Uh, I like the finishes that they use on here, all hard wooden. Uh, you also have the display here to where if you do have like any coats or something nice, you can have it on display. It makes it look really nice. So that can be his, and over here would be the second walk-in closet, which through here, let's see, you have this big glass mirror here, which to me, this makes it feel like it's more of hers, just because, you know, girls just like to, you know, look at themselves and everything before they head out. But this actually does look like it has more storage, so technically I would consider this being for her. But yeah, plenty of storage here for plenty of clothing, shoes, all your needs are taken care of here. So also, like I said, there was two balconies, right? Two balconies. Uh, this is where the other balcony is that I was talking about in the, in the master. So right as you walk out here, this is the second balcony where, you know, you have a couple launchers out here, you relax, you get the views. And actually there's, the, I like the trees out here in the backyard because you do get privacy. There isn't other houses looking up into uh, your backyard or into your balcony, so I, I love that touch that they have, that you, no neighbors can see you. 
So now that we've finished actually in the second floor, we're gonna head down, we're actually gonna go use the elevator, we're gonna head down into the basement, and we're gonna see some pretty cool stuff. So. All right guys, so like I said, we're now at the elevator here, which we're gonna take down, we're gonna head over to the basement area, which there are some cool features down there. So I'll meet you guys down there. See? All right guys, now we're at the basement level. Like I said, we're taking the elevator, and we're at the basement level, and right as you walk out to the left side, out of the elevator, you do have an extra room down here, which can be used as like your security guard room or your maid's room. That's way it's just it's just away from everybody else up on the second floor and the and the uh, the first floor and the second floor. So you have a space to get out here, a private entrance to be able to get in here. It has its own powder room, again with the marble countertops, the vanity, and also, yeah, I'm tripping all over the place, <laughs> and its own restroom here, so. You know, private little section for either the maid, security, or maybe you just have extra family that you want to keep down here away from everybody else, you know? So, walking through here to my left, this is the garage that I was talking about. Look at this garage. I would say you probably have more space than for seven cars. I would say one, two, I would say, actually maybe you have like seven or eight cars in here. Uh, sorry if it's echoing, but that's how large this garage is. You have plenty of uh, cabinetry for any extra storage that you do have here. So if you got a lot of cars, this is a good garage for you. So we're going through here now. This is, there is a laundry room here. Uh, plenty of cabinetry area. You got the washer and dryer, the recessed lighting. Uh, I like the backups they have on here. You also have the sink, so in case you have some really dirty clothes, you can just use that and wash everything out through there. So, pretty large laundry room in here. And now we're gonna take a uh, left turn over here. So, these are actually the stairs that spiral up into the first floor and into the second floor. Uh, I love this design to have on the floor here with the marble flooring. Uh, now, we're gonna head through here. This is a powder room. So this is an extra powder room because there's something down here that I'm gonna show you guys that this can be used where people will be down here and this can be used for your guests. So we're gonna head over here and to my left, there is your own home movie theater. That's right. I wanna see if you can turn on, uh, can, you can't see, no? Okay, well anyway. It's, it's a little dark in here, but you have the soundproof walls. Everything is red in here. So you have the red ceiling, the red uh, cushioned uh, walls. And I would say you probably have a good amount of seating for two, four, six. I mean, this is probably like a 25 people. You probably fit 25 people comfortably in here. But you have a nice screen right there to where, you know, you guys can watch the most recent movies that come out. So I think that's pretty cool having your own movie theater in your own house. And you also have your own wine cellar. This is pretty cool. Your own wine cellar that holds up, I believe, a little over 800 wine bottles in here. So, this is cool. This makes you feel like you're in Italy. The brick ceiling in here, uh, this nice chandelier. And you also have this little table here to where when you can, you know, if you want to do some wine tasting with somebody, you know, you can get a bottle of wine, just relax sip some wine or you can also make this a place where you do business you know you get your expensive wine and make some deals in here as well because i'm pretty sure that would work so now we're here to my left there is another bonus room in here that is currently being used as a fitness room so you can also have your own gym in here as well uh, which i think is pretty cool you have the big mirrors on the walls and you know th this this house does have everything this house has everything and I mean, the movie theater. The movie theater is amazing. I love it. So now that we've seen everything guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the video, subscribe. Go down below, subscribe, like the video, turn on the notification bells for whenever I post. And again, I wanted to thank the listening agents for giving us the, the, luxury, the luxury to be able to tour their home or their listing. So if you guys like the video, again, please like and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.